back on the final drive. Stan Howard, I'm going to need a little help to get through this highlight. Really? All right, Jabril Peppers. He can Michigan, dance. On the road to play Rutgers. Homecoming for Peppers, Jersey guy. Mm. First quarter, no score. Uh, about to be no score no longer. Wildcat pull formation. Over, pull over! Siren already? Already. You can't give the guy a siren when he's coming home. Goes 63 yards and sets up Ty Isaac from four yards out. Wolverines are up 7-0. At this point, they're on pace for about 56 points in the game. Uh, that pace would quicken. Wilton Spade to J.U. Chesson. Mm. Nice throw. Drop Maybe and dimes. Better catch. Drop and dimes. So Michigan on top, 14-0. Spade can throw a nice deep ball. Final Play. seconds of the first quarter. Zach Allen scrambling out of the pocket. Uh -huh. Ball knocked out of his hand. Brian Monet. Another piece of that Michigan defense. Back healthy, healthy back in the lineup. Michigan ball, first play of the second quarter. Wolverines would cash in. Peppers Watch fakes. the boot. Did he fake? He might even fake. Did he fake the right way? Did he fake the wrong <laughs> that, way? That time he was good. Okay. Called the whirly bird. Seven yards on the touchdown. Uh, three touches, 74 yards and two touchdowns for Peppers. It's 21-0. Chris Evans had himself over a buck 50. This would lead to a Khalid Hill one-yard touchdown. And by the way, at 27-0, Jim Harbaugh goes for two on the fake extra point and gets it. You gotta work these days. You can't 29 go for now 36 nothing. Yeah. Peppers one more time. Uh, the final score, gentlemen, 78 to nothing. You sure? I'm positive, I looked at the stats. Mm. Third largest margin of victory in program history for the Wolverines. Rutgers has just two first downs. Total yardage difference, Michigan 600, Rutgers 39. Get to more on Rutgers in just a bit. As for Michigan, in absolute throttling as this rush offense gains 481 yards. How about some post-game reaction with the man of the moment, Jabril Pepper, standing by with Nicole Darren. Jabril, you wanted so badly to get involved on offense. You did just that with two touchdowns and 74 rushing yards. How does it feel to do that in your home state of New Jersey? You know, you always play against the home home team in the home state. You know, it just brings an extra flair to it. So, uh, you know, I definitely wanted to make a statement on offense today or, or wherever I could. You know, just my first time being back home in a while, playing in front of the home crowd, so it definitely meant a lot to me. You're able to be so productive and so versatile in all of the roles you play. How is that preparing for a game like this and then seeing all that hard work come to fruition? Uh, just, just like you said, you know, hard work. You know, my coaches do a great job putting me in positions to excel. And, you know, the man upstairs, you know, he does, he does a great job with me as well. You know, continues to bless me each and every weekend. You know, I just think it behooves me to just honor myself and my team, you know, by hard work and just doing whatever is asking me. And the defense, a shutout tonight, 78 nothing, allowing Rutgers just one first down. What can you say about these guys that you're playing with every week? Hey, we're a bunch of dogs. You know, those guys go out there every week, every practice. You know, we just give it our all. You know, we play every game is the big game. You know, you, you can't avoid to, to slip up one week, lose one you shouldn't have. And, you know, you just got to keep that, that swagger about you and that demeanor that no matter who, who you play, no matter who they put on the field with you, you're going to get the same guys every time. And I think we did, I think we did that tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it.